Hey tribe, welcome back, what's going on? Hey, so I was laying in bed the other night, have you ever had this experience where you're sitting there, you maybe you're driving in the car, or you're just sitting in a crowd, and all of a sudden you just start feeling tense, like you're gonna explode. You're ticked off, and you have no idea why you're ticked off. So I was laying there in bed, it was probably 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. I could not figure out why in the world I could not fall asleep. And then all of a sudden I figured it out. I was hotter than a pistol. I mean, sweat dripping down my face, and I was just like instant mad. So I got up, went to the hallway, looked at the thermostat, and that thing was set on like 98 degrees. Some joker in my house, like a little three-year-old boy named Crew, had gotten up on a stool and reset my thermostat to 98 degrees. Like, I have a comfort zone. I like that house about somewhere between 65 and 68 degrees. And when that thermostat set on 65 or 68, it doesn't move, man. It's staying right there and uncomfortable. But here's what happened. Somebody went in and changed the thermostat on me and cranked up the heat. And then because I was uncomfortable, I went and turned it back down to where I'm comfortable. So everybody has a financial thermostat. You know, your money works the same way. Success in life works the exact same way. Your relationships work the same way as your thermostat in your house. So when you become successful and you have some success, you make some money, do you know your mind will automatically sabotage you to get your bank account back down to where it's been and where it's comfortable? When you spend a bunch of money, you know your mind will app automatically kick in and it'll make you make money to get it back up to where you're comfortable with it. You know, if you went back to your bank account for the last five years and you took an inventory of where the average daily balance was, it's probably not very far from year one to year 10 because that's where you're comfortable. So a lot of people say I can't make any more money. I can't be, I, you know, I can't seem to be successful. I make money, then I lose money, then I make money, then I lose money. Guys, it's your operating system, it's your programming. Just like a computer has a software system where it's pulling files and it's pulling its data and its information from, so does your brain. It was loaded there by people in your life, whether it was your best friend, your mom, your grandma, your dad, your enemies, whoever it was. So the way you think and feel about money is the way you act around money, and it's what you subconsciously do to either win or sabotage yourself out of winning. So think about this for a second. When you were young, did your parents, did they fight about money? You know, what did your parents do around money? Was it a sore subject in your home when you needed something or you wanted something and you went to your dad and said, hey, can I have a few bucks? Did he say, money doesn't grow on trees? Or did he say, money's the root of all evil? Or we can't afford that. Guys, if he did, guess what? That's probably your operating system because at that point in your life, you chose to believe it. Now, it's not your fault, but what is your fault is if you're still operating off of that old operating system. So just like files in a filing cabinet, you have all these statements that have been made and they've been logged away in files in your brain and you are operating from those subconsciously right now. Now the good news is you can open up the filing cabinet, you can open up those files and go, hey, there's something that doesn't serve me, right? That's a negative thought or a negative belief system. That was a negative statement that somebody said about me or about money or success or wealth or salespeople or rich people or whatever the case may be. Hey, there's, you know, there's something positive. I'm gonna keep that one, I'm gonna put it back in the file. So you get to choose what's in that filing cabinet. Nobody else does. So nothing has meaning except for the meaning that you give it. In other words, when somebody says something to you, you get a choice whether you believe it or whether you don't believe it. If you choose to believe it, that's you, okay? Not somebody else, that's you. Taking and putting a file in a filing cabinet and that is a new operating system that you'll operate off of. If you choose not to believe the statement, if somebody says, hey, you know what, you never got a college education, you're never gonna be successful. If you believe that, guess what? That will shape the rest of your life. If you choose not to believe that and you say, you know what, I don't need a college degree to be successful. There's lots of other ways to get an education and I'm on that path right now and that's what you log into your subconscious mind and into that filing system and that's what you choose to believe. Those are the thoughts that will support you. So think about it. How much money is the most money you've ever made? What's the least amount of money you've ever made? And why in the world can't you break that ceiling? Why can't you get above that? Because when you do, your subconscious mind becomes uncomfortable, kicks the old program in and goes, oh, 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 we are not built to have this level of success. We gotta get back down to where we're comfortable. So look for the patterns in your life. If somebody pulls out in front of you and they're driving a super nice vehicle, what do you think? What do you say? Hey, that rich sucker, you just cut me off. What do you think, you own the road? or? Are you thinking, man, that's a super nice car. I'm figuring out how I can have that car right now by myself. So what are you thinking about? Is money evil? Money the root of all evil? 
Okay, does money matter to you? Does it not matter to you? What are your thoughts around money, success, and finance? Because that is, those are the thoughts that create the feelings in your life, that create the actions, that create the results. So if you wanna change the results, you just gotta run that formula backwards, right? You cannot change the results unless you change the actions. There is no way physically possible to change those actions unless you change your feelings. And those feelings are driven by your thoughts. So what are you thinking? Pull out the old programming, put in the new programming. Go find some books that'll help support you, give you the information that, and the, the uh, su support and the belief systems that you need so you can rewrite that program programming system so that you can reset your financial thermostat. You will never make $7,000 a week here at 7K Metals if that's not in your programming. Okay, you might make it one week, but guess what? The next week, something will blow up in your business, you'll lose team members, you'll lose volume, and you'll be back down to 2,000, 5,000, whatever it is. So if you wanna change your results, if you wanna change the outcome of your life, you have to change the way you feel. The only way to change the way you feel is to change what's going on in your subconscious mind. The good news is you have the power to do it. All right, guys, so until next time, change your thoughts, change your feelings, it'll change your actions, and give you the results you're looking for. We'll see you on the next video, be significant.